Okay, this is part two. If you don't know, I'm telling the story of the last date I'm ever gonna go on intentionally, and I'm making a cookie martini using Bake Sale cookie liqueur. Okay, so anyways, fast forward. Now he's in the Bay Area, and he hits me up last minute, and he goes, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Like on a Friday. I was like, I got this pun, this pun, that pun. This is the only time I have time to see you. He's like, dope, let's go get brunch. That's promising. Men rarely ever ask to go to brunch on a first date, right? So he said, you pick the spot, I'll pick you up, and we'll go. I'm like, okay, fine, Sunday brunch, Sunday fun day, let's go do it. So I was down, I picked this spot in Palo Alto, and he swoops me up. I'll give this to him. This is the first man I have ever seen step out of a BMW with these white shoes on, and I was like, try I had sunglasses on, like, thank goodness, because I was like, god damn, like, he, he's Middle Eastern, like he's fit, and I was like, happy be, come to the bay, like, this guy is fine. Anyways, so we go to brunch, and the chemistry is good, like, it's easy to talk to him, like, he's sweet, like, we're small talking, we had to wait for our table for a little bit, and it was great, the, the date was well, like, I really liked it, it was not hard to talk to him, and that's it, that's all I'm asking for, like, someone just to banter with, to laugh with, to get to know, like, it wasn't pulling teeth to get to know him. But then the red flag started to come out. When he was driving back to take me home, he popped the most immature question ever. He was just like, what is the most sexual thing you've ever done? I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? So that was red flag number one. And then I will admit, like the date went so fast. I was kind of sad that it was over. And I think he felt it too, because then he said, what are you doing later? I was like, well, Sunday is just my chore day. Like I go grocery shopping and I do laundry. Well, and so he tells me, he's like, you should skip laundry. You should come to my place and we'll go in the jacuzzi. That was the second red flag. Any man that asks you to go to his place on the first date, especially to go swimming or in a jacuzzi, he's just trying to get in your pants. And I knew this. I knew, oh shit, the cookie rim. And that's what happens when you talk too much, huh? <laughs> Anyways, so I already knew what his intentions were, but I was down. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, like, I don't have to sleep with him, but I'm gonna plant the seed because I'm trying to, like, look for friends. I have swimming pools for the summertime, you know what I mean? So I decided to go. So I go to his place, and I meet his roommate, and the three of us hang out in the jacuzzi. And, ah, uh, should I? I'm gonna make a part three, you guys. Like, it's just too good. I have to tell you all the tea because I even have screenshots. So we're jacuzzi -ing, talking to his roommate, and for some reason, like, he's just reminiscing on college. Like, I can't, not college, on high school. Like, I can't stand a man that just, like, always brings up his high school years. I feel like that's just a sign, like, that's where you peaked, bro. Like, why are you...